Yo, what is up everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be basically showing you how to properly set up your NVIDIA graphics card if you've just upgraded to one or if you've always had one or you just got a new PC. So we're going to go to we're going to go through five different things on what you should do whenever getting a NVIDIA GPU. And I'll be doing a video on this for AMD later. But for now, we're doing NVIDIA only. So the first thing we're going to do is regarding GPU drivers. So for NVIDIA, there's a wide selection of NVIDIA drivers and all of them could be different can lead to different results can have different settings and stuff like that but usually this is how it goes if you want the best performance out of a driver for a certain game then search up the game and then search up nvidia driver so for example if you search up call of duty modern warfare it'll show up with the driver 526.86 on their website so if you're trying to play cod then you want to use that driver now if you're trying to play fortnite valorant or any of those games like apex as well there are dx11 then pretty much a lot of other drivers will work fine. You could try drivers like 472.12, you could try 526.98, or you could even try 526.86. It'll work perfectly fine. But there is no like specific driver that 100% be better for everybody. It depends on each PC, and some PCs might experience lower performance with certain drivers. It is what it is. It just takes a lot of testing and time. But usually, on my clients personally, I use either 472.12 or 526. 6.98 or if they're just on newer hardware like a 4070 4080 4090 just use the latest for those gpus you really want to use the latest drivers just because they fix a lot of things they improve a lot of things and all that so without further ado let's get right into how to properly install your gpu drivers all right so first things first if you have already installed your nvidia driver then we want to properly uninstall it so the best way to do this is use obviously display driver uninstaller so click the link in the description for or display driver uninstaller it'll bring you to this page we're going to choose our download location so for me i'm on the east slash west so i'm going to click east coast and i'm going to download so once it's downloaded all you want to do is extract the file so once you have it all you want to do is just right click on the file click extract files or just extract all and then it's going to make a folder we're going to double click on this folder we're going to double click ddu version 18 point something exe click extract and then it'll extract it so we're going to go in this folder and double click display driver uninstaller.exe so it's going to load up and basically we want to set up custom settings here just so it's a little bit faster. So all you want to do is uncheck create a system restore point if you don't want it making a restore point right before it uninstalls the driver. So I'm going to be unchecking that because I don't want that to happen. You could check remove physics right here and uncheck remove GeForce Experience broadcast and DCH driver. Uncheck those and then we could just press close. Alright, so once you've actually finished setting up the settings for DDU, we're going to exit out of it and then we're going to press our Windows key and R and we're going to type MS config and then press OK. And then we're going to go to boot and then our current OS, we're going to click on that and then check save boot and then just select network right here just so you have network in there. And then we're going to press apply and then press OK. So now once we restart, it's going to boot us into safe mode. And once we're in safe mode, all we want to do is double click display driver uninstaller one more time and then we're going to click clean and restart after we selected our GPU. We want to make sure we're in safe mode while we do this just so we prevent any issues like black screens or just weird bugs. So I'm going to do that real quickly. All right, everybody. So once you've uninstalled the driver and it's going to boot you back into safe mode. So all you want to do is press Windows key and R, type MS config again, and then we're going to go to boot and then current OS and then uncheck safe boot and then press apply and then press OK and then restart our PCs and it should boot normally. Now, once we've restarted our PCs, we should only have one more monitor working because there's no GPU drivers and right now I'm going to be showing you the best way to install NVIDIA drivers that are completely stripped out from bloatware. So click the link in the description to go to NV Clean Install website. All right, everybody. So once you've went to NV Clean Install, we're going to click download and then we're going to choose the closest one to us. So what NV Clean Install is basically it's a way to install our NVIDIA driver stripped out of all the things that we don't need, all the drivers that we don't need, and we can apply some certain tweaks automatically with this tool so once you have it downloaded just open it up and again as I said earlier about selecting a driver it's highly dependent on what games you play and what you want to try out so for me personally I'm gonna be trying out 526.98 which is one of the drivers I mentioned earlier that you could test out so once you've done that you just want to press next and as you can
PC, basically everything is stripped out except display driver. Now, I'd recommend keeping it like this. You don't need any of the other ones. And then just press next and then it'll start downloading the files for the NVIDIA driver. So I'm gonna let it download real quickly and we'll come back. All right, everybody. So if you haven't already watched a previous video of mine regarding the full Windows optimization video, I do cover the disabled multi-plane overlay. But if this is not already checked for you, just check it right here. And we're gonna check disable installer telemetry and advertising. We're gonna check unattended express installation. And then we're gonna check show expert tweaks. And then we're gonna check disable HDCP and just press next right here. And once you press next, we can just press install and it'll start installing the driver. So press install and let it download the driver. All right, everybody. So once you have the NVIDIA driver installed, we're gonna briefly cover NVIDIA control panel settings. And all we wanna do is right click on our desktop, click NVIDIA control panel, and then we're gonna choose use the advanced 3D image settings in the middle right here and then press apply. So the reason why we're choosing the one in the middle is because the slider, all it does is just change things in manage 3D settings. So using that slider is absolutely obsolete. If you want to run custom settings, you just want to use the advanced 3D image settings. So we're going to go to manage 3D settings on the left now. We're going to set everything to off or low. So image sharpening, set that to off. And Anastropic filtering, set that to off. Anti-aliasing mode, set this to off. And then scroll down and then low latency mode keep this to on and then when I scroll down preferred refresh rate and power management mode prefer maximum performance and highest available shader cache size set this to unlimited texture filtering quality high performance vertical sync make sure this is off and thread optimization you can keep this on auto or on and basically just copy the rest of these settings that I have right here if they're not similar to mine and then press apply on the bottom right so we're going to go to configure surround physics make sure our GPU is selected go to adjust desktop size and position and then make sure both of these are set to no scaling however if you're trying to set a custom stretch resolution through the video control panel keep the main monitor on full screen so you can actually scale with GPU scaling I do have a full video on that on how to properly set up stretch resolution either through display scaling or GPU scaling and GPU scaling through the graphics card control panel for us, it's going to be an NVIDIA control panel, but the other method is through custom resolution utility, as you guys probably know of. If you want to watch that video, I'll link it down in the description or I'll just show what it looks like. But for now, keep this on no scaling. Otherwise, keep it on full screen if you want a custom resolution that you're going to change through change resolution over here. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to keep it on no scaling for both of my monitors. And then I'm going to go to desktop at the top, check enable developer settings, and then go to manage GPU performance counters, select allow access to the GP performance counters to all users and then press apply on the bottom right and we're going to go to adjust video color settings and then go to with NVIDIA settings click advanced click full instead of limited and then press apply and then press yes so this will let the colors on your monitor pop out a little bit better just make it look better and we're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and digital vibrance I've covered this in the past very briefly but up in the digital vibrance will make your display have brighter colors it'll look better so if you're playing games like call of duty or apex or valorant or just games that are hard to see and then you could turn this up to about 75 or 85 or even 100 percent it depends on what you like but for me i'm gonna keep it on default so that's pretty much it for the nvidia control panel now i'm gonna move on to nvidia profile inspector and do some tweaks in there so once you click the link in the description to head over to profile inspector we're gonna make sure we're on the latest one so for me that's 24.04 and then i'm gonna click nvidia profile inspector dot zip under assets it's gonna start downloading all right everyone so once you have it downloaded all we're gonna do is right click on it click extract here just like what we did with display driver on installer so once you've extracted it double click nvidia profile inspector and then let it load up take a second but all we're going to do is find anything related to g-sync and try to set it to force off or off if you haven't already and then maximum pre-rendered frames set this to one and just a quick note about maximum pre-rendered frames lower is lower ample lag but it might give you some drops so you could try testing out higher options but it'll feel a little bit worse but if you're on a really low end system two or three might give you better frames and then vertical sync off and when i scroll down make sure everything's similar to mine and then 
keep scrolling down and then CUDA forest P2 state we want to make sure this is set to off and now if you don't use the game filters within GeForce experience you can also disable and sell over here I'm going to scroll down make sure that R bar feature is set to enabled R bar option set to 0 x 0 1 battlefield and then size limit set to 4000 basically so this value right here and shader cache make sure this is enabled of course we want those enabled and shader cache size unlimited so we're going to keep scrolling down and then variable refresh rate we're going to make sure this is set to disabled and then virtual reality pre-rendered frames same thing as above with the pre-rendered frames saying that to lower will give you lower input lag better fps but worse input lag so we're going to click apply at the top right and then make sure it's applied now under profiles we're going to search up desktop window manager i'm going to click this and then we're going to scroll up and find power management now it's going to say adaptive we don't want that on adaptive we want it on prefer maximum performance performance so press prefer maximum performance press apply and there you go now we're going to do the same thing for windows explorer make sure it's set to prefer maximum performance and then press apply and then we're going to search up any of our game launchers so epic games launcher battle.net or steam or even origin so for me i'm going to search up epic games launcher do the same thing make sure it's prefer maximum performance Let's search up Steam, and then as you can see, program, it's already on that, so we should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna search up battle.net, see if that is on adaptive or not, and it's not. So that's pretty much it for NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We can press apply changes now, and that's pretty much it for this, and we can exit out of it. Now we're gonna move on to special registry keys that can enhance our gameplay even more and keep our GPU running at a decent clock speed, or just literally transform game with lower input lag. So, all right, everybody, so if you want to bring back the old image sharpening in the video control panel if you so on newer drivers it'll say image scaling instead of image sharpening so i'll show you guys what i'm talking about here so as you can see feature it says image sharpening on newer drivers it'll say image scaling which are two completely different things image scaling basically means scaling the image up or down which causes more stress on the gpu image sharpening is way more different than that and takes less performance so that might be one reason why you want to bring back image sharpening so i left the red key in the description which you could download it and it'll bring it back so all you have to do is run it and basically restart your pc and it'll be brought back in the video control panel now moving on to another tweak that can help our gpu even more it all right everybody so along with the bring back old image sharpening rec file i'm going to leave the msi mode tool in the same zip file so all we're going to do is double click msi mode tool we're going to make sure our gpu is checked and it's set to undefined so yours is going to look like this we're going to check it press apply make sure it's undefined and then press refresh make sure it's still checked and then once you restart the irq should be negative right here and then yeah that's it for msi mode disable dynamic p state rec key and what this basically does is it forces your gpu to, to stay at p state zero which is the highest performing p state where it's at the highest clock speeds basically with the corresponding voltage so enabling this will 100 percent increase your temperatures so you have to make sure that if you're on a laptop double check your temperatures after you do this or just don't do it at all if you're on a pc or a blower card double check the temperatures and if it's getting a little bit hot with a game opened or just with nothing open we're going to turn up the fan speeds using msi afterburner so you might be asking how do we do this so we're going to open up our registry so just type windows key and r type reg edit and then press ok it'll open up reg edit so all i'm going to do is copy the address that i put in the description and paste it in here now depending on if you're on a laptop or a pc your nvidia driver key might be different so for me it's 000 which might be the same thing for most of you however if you don't see the word nvidia on the right right here as you can see driver description it says my gpu if you don't see that look for another one it might be 001 002 look around under this key but once you found it what we're going to do is right click in the blank area click new d word and we're going to type disable dynamic p state and make sure it's typed just like that with the right capital letters and we're going to set this to one and then press ok so again guys make sure it's disable dynamic p state and the d is capital the d in dynamic is capital and p state the p is capital and make sure it's set to one now after restart you will notice in softwares like msi afterburner or hardware info 64 that your clock speeds for your gpu are way higher and they're fluctuating less that's basically the main point of 
using this registry key it's to increase performance out of your gpu but it does come at a cost of increasing temperatures so now i'm going to move on to msi afterburner and how we could control our temperatures if they're too high all right so click the link in the description to go to msi afterburner and you want to make sure you click that link so now download it and then we're just going to open it up after it's done and set it up real quickly all right everybody so we're going to double click on it it's like english next accept next and we're going to uncheck reva tuner statistics servers we're not going to be using it in this video if you want to use it for whatever reason keep this checked but most of you i don't think there's any point of checking this so just keep msi afterburner checked press next press next install and let it install after you have officially finished downloading it all you want to do is check run msi afterburner and then press finish it's going to open up msi afterburner so i really hate this ui right here so i'm going to be changing it so i'm going to click the gear icon on the left and then just copy these settings while we're here so unlock voltage control unlock voltage monitoring force constant voltage and then voltage control we're going to set this to third party and check for available product updates never and press apply and i'm going to press yes and i'm going to go back to the gear icon we're going to go to user interface and i'm going to change this to the cyborg afterburner skin white and press apply and press ok this ui is way easier to work with and i prefer way more over the default one that they give you so basically what we're going to do here is check our clock speeds our memory clock speeds and temperature so as you can see mine is running at p state zero because of the registry key that we just applied which is dynamic p state so we're going to click startup right here to make sure it applies on startup and then make sure our power limit and temperature limit are both all the way up maxed out and then fan speed if you want to change this i recommend setting a custom static fan speed so what this means is basically just input a number like 75 percent and then press apply and as you can see you'll hear the ramps ramp up and the temperature will start dropping a little bit so i'd only recommend this if you're really exceeding temperature are like 75 degrees or above but if you're reaching about 65 degrees with nothing open definitely apply a higher fan speed so i'd say 75 to 85 or if you don't care at all about the noise set it to 100 so after you've done that we're going to save the profile to profile one and we're going to lock it and then every time you restart your pc it'll apply this automatically with msi afterburner so you don't need msi afterburner running in the background please do not run it in the background if you have msi afterburner running in the background on the bottom right it's going to cause tremendous input lag just because of the monitoring software within msi and how much memory it takes so you don't want it running in the background you just want startup checked right here so whenever you open up your pc or restart it it applies it on startup so we can close out of this now and that's pretty much it so for msi afterburner you can also try overclocking your gpu i will not go on how to overclock your gpu in this video however in the future i'll probably make a video on how to overclock your gpu properly but for now that's pretty much it on how to set up your nvidia driver for the best possible performance and the best possible latency so if you want all of this done for you for whatever reason you still can't figure it out after this video book an optimization with me i do do this and more things that I haven't covered in this video. And if you want lower system latency overall, the optimization is there for you in the link in the description. Subscribe for more. Comment down below if this helped. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm so it could be recommended to others. And follow me on Twitter for exclusive content that I'm not posting anywhere else except on Twitter. And thank you guys for watching.